everyone, it's the 23rd of June today, 2024, and I'm just come out, it's about 20 to 12, I'm really late out today, I haven't fed the chickens yet, I'll go and do that first. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, uh, yeah, we're just going to, um, well, we're actually doing some painting today, so I want to show you that, so I'm going to do that in a separate video, so I'll do one gardening one and one painting one today, because, um, and today, I mean by whenever I put this video up, N not necessarily on the 23rd. Uh, all my videos are very much behind. <laughs> if you're watching any of them, you will see that. I'm very late with my videos, but I don't care. They're my reference, my diary, so that I can keep track of what I'm up to. Hold on. Oh, that's better. That was a bit smeary, the old camera. Anyway, so they're my reference, uh, the videos, they're, they're so I can ch check what I'm doing in my garden because otherwise I can't keep track um, and it keeps me on form and then if uh, I can see that things are growing and that I'm progressing and sometimes I watch back over my videos, well I watch back over my videos all the time but um, it reminds me of when I said I need to do this, I need to do that that I go back and do it, like putting those uh, daisies in around that arch. I've just spotted those sitting there waiting for me patiently. Um, it hasn't really rained. There was some really weird rain this morning, like a heavy mist, and it was very rainy this morning, so it was very damp. So we couldn't really come out this morning to do any painting anyway. Um, and Simon's got help on something indoors at the moment. I'm sure here release that eventually <laughs> uh, anyway I've just popped out here because I just want to show you the fruit is ready to be picked <laughs> because covering it up with this this netting really 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 does help this fleece with the netting underneath it really does help to warm up the the fruit and um, they all help each other to ripen them and they've actually ripened and I want to show you now the red currants, so the red okay. currants are ready to be picked. So we we'll leave them for another another day. Uh, we we'll do them tomorrow, I think. Pick them. Um, you know when they're picked, they come off really easily off of the off of the trusses. So we won't do it yet. <coughs> we'll probably come out tomorrow and do those. Uh, um, cover it and pick them, and cover it back up again until the rest ripen oh there's still quite a lot around here that aren't ripe yet but it really does help covering it up like this and it protects them from all the uh, birds and everything but it also really warms it up so they ripen quicker so they actually get to ripen before you lose half of them um, because i do notice if you do them out in the elements um, the birds come and peck them we got an example here haven't we so here we are, here's some um, black currants that are just left to their own devices. And as you can see here, some of them start ripening and some of them don't. Whereas if you cover them up, they'll all sort of ripen together because the ones that are ripe, it'll help the ones that are not ripe. There are some black, black currants. This is the colour they're supposed to be, but you know, how long does it take for them to get there? I'm going to try one of them. Yeah, that is a black current. Hmm. Hmm. We might just put a fleece bit over this section here just to help with these. Because look, I've got sections. So I can easily cover up this section. I think these gooseberries might be done. I don't to pick them off. They're only little. We might cover them up as well. So we could put a piece of netting all the way across here. It's still spitting. I can still feel it in the air. <laughs> to here. I think we will do that. We'll cover them up. I've got enough um, coverings to do that. So we'll do that. The honeyberries here are definitely not giving me anything, not even a flower. <laughs> and the tay berries, yeah, very minimal and not really, not really very good. So I think this year I'll cut them right down 
and then uh, hopefully they've produced fruit from the new shoots. These ones aren't gone very well, look. Yeah, a bit rubbish. Yeah, I think they need a good feed and, and a haircut. So I think this year we're going to cut them again and let them re-flourish. And hopefully, like, if they're anything like blackberries, you usually cut blackberries back and they grow back every year stronger. Um, yeah, they're, they're like the thornless blackberries. Are we getting any... Um, yeah, they, we haven't really had any off of these. These are the thornless ones. I have not ever seen a blackberry on them yet. But anyway, that's that. We do have apples though. Our apple's doing really well. Look at that. Huh. Oh, we've got little apples. I actually cannot believe that I've got some apples. I've never grown apples before. There's quite a few on this one. Isn't that lovely? Another, even one there. That little weeny tree. Anyway, oh, let's just have a quick look over here. These these are looking all right, whatever these are. Yeah, so they're doing well. They seem to be getting some flowers on. And these strawberries seem to have new growth on, which is good. Probably help putting that nice earth in here. Hmm. Yeah, not doing very well, are they? Yeah, the lupin is dragging. These aren't growing. Everything's a bit slow still. The oregano is starting to take off again now. Look, it's got new growth. It's going to flower. Need to water these um, white yarrow at the end. But these, these bushes are growing like wildfire this year. Yeah, we start getting this on these leaves here. This happens every year. I usually just cut them off. Um, yeah, so let's go and feed the chickens because we haven't let them out yet and I think they're probably going to go a bit mental. <laughs> anyway, the sweet peas are starting to grow up the arches and everything, but... Yeah, they're starting to go up there now. Might need to put some more string on. It looks like it's come off. Yeah, there's no string here on this bit. Looks like it's all come off. Hmm. Yeah, we better do that. Because always they, they can't keep going up if they haven't got anything to latch to. Inky's sitting waiting patiently. He knows it's dinner time soon. Don't know what he's looking at over there. Must be a pheasant. Anyway, these potatoes over here are looking amazing. Look at these. Look at these leaves. Wow, they have massive leaves on them. I just throw the kitchen waste on this bed. That's what I've been doing. So there's eggshells, tea bags, coffee, uh, peelings. I just throw it on the bed. That's what I've been doing here. Oh, there's a shell there, though. Where'd that shell come from? From my shell collection. Look, see that? Even the coffee bags, what the coffee fills. Eggshells. I usually stamp on the eggshells. <laughs> they all get fed back into the soil. And well, there you are. We've got a few slug damage, I think, there on this side. But these ones on this side. Wow. So they're looking really good, aren't they? And these are doing well. These um, foxgloves that I saved the other day from around the other side. Look. They're, they're a bit flagging but this big one here I dug out and that one's doing all right this these ones are going to seed now which is all right because that's what we wanted and the little weeny ones they're doing all right as well and all these other foxgloves are the ones that I've put in here from other areas of the garden as well so this is my sort of foxglove bed what's these two things here I think they're avocado pips. Uh, why are they there? Should I just plant them in the ground and see if they grow? Who knows? They might do. Oh, these are my little tiny garlic cloves. That are, that's what these are in here. That's what these are, these little weeny cloves. What I was planning on doing is keeping them and then grow them next year and see if they grow into a bigger 
garlic or I could just ferment them because uh, fermented garlic is really nice and keeps all the nutrition in it and the taste um, when you cook with it it's a lot milder taste than when you use normal garlic so if you like the taste of garlic but not too strong ferment it and you can even eat it whole then like whole little cloves that's what I do and we eat them and they're really good for you anyway I think what I need to do today I don't know when Simon's coming out um, the tomatoes I seriously what the hell how tall are these grown Wee! oh my god they are getting so big those tomato plants are huge and look at my marigolds <laughs> oh my god I've got to harvest some marigold flowers. Oh, I don't want them to go seed yet. I need to take the seed heads off. Let's go through them. The peas at the back here are looking all right. Uh, yeah, need to keep an eye on them now. Need to probably put some more um, structure up, maybe. I don't know where I put my string. I might have to order some more string. Uh, the other tomatoes, look at the cucumbers. Oh look, the seeds of the parsley are falling on the cucumbers. And we need to collect some of those. Flies like them. They like the parsley flowers. Funny that, isn't it? Oh my God, this is like amazing. We need to take some peas today. I think we're ready to pod some peas, really. Let's just have a quick look around the other side. These tomatoes over here aren't doing as well, but they have suddenly started growing now. Oh, these ones have started growing as well here, and that borage is massive up there. But look at the tomato plants over there. So we've got two over there, and we've got one, two, three, four here. We might need to string these up soon. They're still holding their own at the moment. The fennel's looking okay. The mizuna's looking really good. I think we need to water again today in the polytunnel. There's a stinging nettle just there, I must cut that. Oh, these are starting to go over now, these uh, lettuce. Yeah, we need to direct sow some lettuce into the polytunnel. I'm, I'm just kicking around that daisy there. Look at these tomato plants. Yep, that daisy came with me. Yeah, and the uh, cucumbers, actually. I think they're getting flowers on. Lots of flowers. They're getting really we need to feed the this bed now. Look at these. This is deal. We need to pot these on. Pot these on. They I don't think they're pansy. I think they're forget me nots. These need watering. Savoy cabbage, we've got two. And that's Mizuna. <laughs> that's a poached egg flower. Creeping thyme didn't grow, but look at these. <sighs> oh my god, look at these. The rhubarb has got massive. And look at my delphiniums. Um, oh, parsley. A oh, basil. That's really grown now. God, these need a drink. This is trouble this time of year take your eye off the ball for one day these are really wet these this isn't that needs a drink but these that doesn't need a drink these do not need a drink the any of these here these need a drink here these don't need a drink these do a little bit no not no they don't no the only thing it needs to drink are these delphiniums here. No, that one doesn't. No, it does. I'll just use a hand watering can to water those. So we can just spot water. And we better water the um, gladiolis. Oh, they're all leaning over. We need to get some more sticks. Yeah, we need to restake the gladiolis in there. Some of them are moving. Oh, let's find some more sticks. This hydrangea is getting massive again, but it's loads of leaf. Not much flowers this year. 
can't see any flowers in there. That's because I cut it right back. Look at this one, still going. Absolutely ginormous now. Look at that compared to my hand. Huge. It had loads of flowers on it last year, but I have to cut it back. It gets too big. I might have to take it out eventually. <laughs> oh, I cut it right back this year. Uh, yeah, these these plants over here are doing well. I have figs doing well. Um, those strawberry plants are looking fine. Can't see any figs. Not sure what they're supposed to look like. Uh, the flowers, I've never seen a fig flower. I can't remember what they look like. I mean, I did work in a place with massive fig plants, but I can't remember what the flowers look like now. Look, I need to take that leaf off. It's got something on it. I'll take that off. Well, but we still need to concentrate on the outside. We've still got some peas here that we haven't sorted out from the other day. Uh, this rose needs to be put in somewhere. It looks a bit manky, like it's got some manky stuff on it. Might have to spray that. I'm not sure what that is. Looks horrible. But this, and these, oh, the teaser. I had to water that because it was really dry. But we don't want it in there all the time, do we? But yeah, these uh, foxgloves have got going. This needs cutting off here. This just hit me in the face. All our flowers outside, everything's doing well. Right, this is amazing. I just can't believe these. Oh my god, marigold's gone mental this year. Wow. On the other side of the garden now, there's still a really fine rain. It's really, really fine. <clears throat> but I don't think we can paint in the rain. A bit unpleasant. Anyway, let's just we've just come round to check on our plants we put round the pond yesterday. Uh, let's have a look. They're yeah, looking all right. So we're just doing a check, see if anything's got disturbed. Yeah, the lobelia are starting to pick up now. Forget me nots are doing all right. Yeah, they're doing all right. All these ones we put in yesterday. The alisum and everything, forget-me-nots and asters. I was a bit worried about the asters because um, slugs love them. I did find some slugs under the rocks and I removed them. But if the slugs get go over, then that's the way it is. Anyway, we've got some um, Californian poppies. So hopefully they'll look all right. And some cosmos as well. Um, yeah, Cosmos here. I sort of done things in clumps because I always think flowers look better with more, th more than one <laughs> unless it's sort of like a standalone plant. But even these are in little clumps. Everything's in little clumps, not individual. So I've sort of put them in clumps and there's three. Um, they're, they're either dahlias or asters. Equally, they get eaten by slugs. Well, this patch is looking good here and then here we had a lot of uh, stuff that was already here but we did put some labelia at the front but I left the back bit because there's already like the nasturtiums and stuff in there which uh, will take over the bed anyway and here we didn't put much in we put a bit of labelia alisum but there's nasturtiums again I think I've done a really good job of spacing them out and getting them all the way around the pond. Um, but that was really hard work, I cannot lie. That was really hard work. You look at it and think, oh, that wouldn't take long. It took like two days, really, to do. And the whole of yesterday I was doing it. I just used a whole bag of compost to make all the little holes and take out all the uh, grass and everything. But I'm glad I've done it because um, at least it gives the plants space to grow now. Well, we need to trim this path. So I made this path now. I don't want this as a bed anymore. But look at all the dock leaves. So I have to keep pulling them out from the strawberries here. Yeah, I'm sure there's no strawberries left. There was loads on these plants. 
Mm. Yeah, they're all gonna go over, look. Oh, never mind. No strawberries for us this year, even though there was loads. There still is loads, but unless the weather warms up, they're not gonna ripen. That's not happening. Anyway, these are looking beautiful, aren't they? Oh, quite stunning. Could have done with a lot more, I think. A lot more, a lot more plants, a lot more flowers. So we're going to put some, um, the onions, the other onions in this bed. Um, because we've got, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, I did say I was going to put them in the strawberry bed, but the strawberries are taking up a lot of room at the moment, so we won't do that. We'll put the onions in, a, in that bed, I think, with those flowers. These onions are looking good. Yeah. Oh, the Romanesco here. Huh. Oh, growing okay. These are all alright. Oh, these poor sunflowers, I rescued them from where I had them in the pond around the other side that I was going to put in the bed. But, like, see, things get away from me and I just can't do everything. There's just... I've put so many plants in the garden already and then I completely forgot about these sunflowers so I am actually going to put them in the beds and see if they revive. You see how much it's been raining? See all the rain on the netting? I don't know if there's any broccoli. I think there might be some broccoli in here. There's some there I can see. And I think there might be some purple sprouting broccoli in this bed. Yeah, it's sort of really quite weird white rain today. I definitely don't think we'll be doing any painting. Loads of flowers on that courgette. These ones are starting to take off now. Can you see that? I sprinkled some um, manure. Some uh, chicken manure on there. I think we've got some purple sprout and broccoli in here I can't actually see it's really wet you know really really wet yeah there I think we'll harvest it tomorrow hopefully it's not raining because that net is soaking and I do not want to get soaking wet so we'll do that tomorrow yeah these are looking good still aren't they even though they're going over now but they're looking good uh, these potatoes, I think we're nearly done with these. We're waiting for them to yellow off. We'll just leave them because they need as long as possible because they took so long to get going, as I keep saying this year. So long. I can't believe how long. <laughs> anyway, we've got to concentrate. Yeah, this ground is quite wet now, I think. So we could put these in here today. They look very straggly, don't they? I'm going to just put them in a big clump, actually just here around here just trim back them there's a bee on the borage yeah these borage ones th these are all right they've these are another set of borage see you just cut off the old borage and another load of new borage comes so that's what I've done I've just cut down all the borage that was laying on the ground and now we've got another load of borage growing so that's really good in there <laughs> I'm just leaving it for the moment because of all the daisies <laughs> and the birds and the bees like the daisies they like the borage flowers the bees like the borage flowers anyway so we're going to put some flowers in this bit we've got these here we can put in and we've got a few other straggler flowers um, no, it's not borage that's comfrey this is borage over here it's a nice stout one there, I'll leave it a clue. My ones in the polytunnel grow like six foot tall, like me. Well, not that tall, about four, five foot tall. <laughs> Borage plant. Yeah. Ah, we've got some flowers coming out. I just noticed poppy. A couple of poppies coming out. Yeah, I'm hoping the lupins take off. They're so fragile. This is why I don't want to put the delphiniums in the garden because I just know, I mean the lupins, 
find it hard enough in the garden. The hollyhocks seem to be a bit more robust. They're a bit more hardy. But the lupins are so sort of weedy. They're weedy little plants until they get going. But it takes forever and most of the time you lose them. Oh, that's growing now. Oh, that's good. That's a lunaria there. That should be a nice big plant. We'll take some seeds off that. We need to look, do a little bit of weed in here. Now where is this? See? This lupin. It's got these leaves all the way over here. And we've got these dock leaves here that we need to pull out. And a bit of grass. Otherwise I can't see where my flowers are in this bed. Uh, sorry, I'm getting carried away now. Yeah, there's another loop in there, look. Where's the rest of it? Oh, right, that loop in is there. So it should be alright, they should be alright. And as you can see, these are growing really well now. And even the, um, can you see where the asparagus is now? You can actually see it now. It seems to all be growing in one clump. And there's some rounds here. Under here. You see that? So we just need to go through there and take out the dock leaves a little bit. Just pull them out. So we can see where the actual flowers are. Oh, might need to go in for a minute. I feel really tired today because I think doing this job yesterday for quite a few hours, I may add. It took me quite a few hours to do that. I'm not complaining, but you look at something and you think, oh, that won't take long. But going up to the house, getting the plants, getting the compost even in the wheelbarrow, putting all the plants in, coming over here, up and down on the ground, digging out all the grass, then disposing of all the grass, and then and then go just going round it on your ass, or getting up and down and doing one section, then another section, then another section. I must have got up and down how many times? I don't know, hundreds of times. Getting up and down, up and down, up and down, and it does take its toll on you. <sighs> so I did get really tired, and I do feel quite tired today. So I'm going to take it really slow. I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to pace myself and see what I want to do today. I definitely want to get them flowers in and those poor sunflowers. And then uh, hopefully maybe the onions in that bed. We'll see. Anyway, awesome stuff in the polytunnel. There's to so much to do. There's never ending. Anyway, I hope the guys come back next this week to finish doing the patio. Don't want to be living in this sort of mess forever. So hopefully they come back. We need it done. We need to carry on doing some strimming over here. Um, strimmed all around there the other day. I think I showed that in a previous video. In the evening I did that. I just want to keep the weeds at bay near my bed there. Um, yeah, created from the garden that bed. And just my oxo daisies are the only plant from my own seeds uh you know from seeds i bought but the rest of it is all from the garden itself where i've just dug up plants and planted it and made a bed and i left that bush there with that foxglove because i quite like that there anyway so we're going to put some of this in i better go and feed my dog first though and see what Simon's up to because it is a bit I'm not sure about the weather today it stopped raining again now we need the sky to clear a bit we don't want this misty rain because uh, you can't paint in the rain it's not good you cannot do it and the ground is all wet now and I'm supposed to be doing the lower part of the wall today which I'm not doing because I'm not sitting on the ground in the wet so I won't be doing that today I don't think Anyway, let's go. So here again on the 23rd of June 2024 and I haven't actually done anything. It's now five past six in the evening and I'm actually going to do some strimming. But 
You know, this morning I said I felt tired and everything, but I actually decided to listen to my body and not do any work today out in the garden, so I didn't. And so I've had a very easy, relaxing day, just watching videos and falling asleep quite a number of times today during the day. <laughs> so I've just relaxed and had a nice day. And now I've come out in the evening and I thought, I'm going to stream around this grass area near the car park because it definitely needs doing and I want to make it look all right. And I noticed around the gates, um, I'll show you, I need to do I it to today. Trim. Okay. Around this area today because it's getting really long and it gets to a point where you can't open and shut the gate without it getting caught under bushes and stuff. But it's now starting to get a bit too long. So I'm not going to trim all down there. I'm only doing here, where I, where I done it last time, and round this side of my, where my plants are. And then we're going to just go through here a little bit and come out here and trim some of this area here. So, because I've done that the other day, and I want to sort of do this side. And I've got to move my grass onto my beds. But that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I've decided to do right now. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got my coat on, but I think I'm going to get hot because it is quite muggy now. And it had, it has been, the wind has dropped. It's not sunny, but it looks like there's a bit of blue sky over there. But yeah, not very good looking over here. But it feels a lot warmer than it was um, this morning. I think it's because the wind's dropped because I think the coldness is when the wind's blowing and the uh but it's definitely warmer now because even though the sun's not shining it actually feels the temperature in the air feels warmer so I'm gonna just do some streaming and I'll show you once I've done okay it. since six I come out of six but then I had to go in to get Simon to put some twine on my spools but look I've done all this all this area today, all round there, all this bit here, all round here, didn't do that bit there, all here, this whole area, round here, I didn't do all of it because there's a lot of brambles in there, so I need to get this, um, the loppers to cut some of that stuff out, so I've left some of the shrubs there, there's some brambles back there, I might leave that little yellow one there for a minute, because it's going to flower. So we don't really want to get rid of that because of the, uh, you know, creatures. Anyway, I strimmed all the way over here. So I strimmed all along this fence today and around all this wood because it was really long. And I've uh, strimmed, well, you can see where I've strimmed because it's quite patchy all around here. And that used um, three lots of uh, batteries. So two small batteries and one large battery. So I've done all that today. You know what I want to do? I want to put a hedge all the way along here and along there. I've got a hedge in. I could actually like make a hedge here. I think that might be a good idea because if we do do what we wanted to do over here, I think having a hedge here would make it a lot more private. And if you've got a hedge like that big, see those hedges? Because that splits the garden up, you see. And you could have hedges here and it would help with the wind as well, you know. I'm going to suggest that to Simon. See what he thinks about my idea. He won't like it, and but then he will. Because he's like that. One minute he, he doesn't like something and then he thinks about it. And then goes, oh, that's not such a bad idea after all. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So we're trying to see if we can suggest a hedge to go along here. I think it's a really good idea um, and it'll push out quite quickly yeah but I think that'd be a good idea because then that, that defines it and um, gives it a purpose and gets, stops the wind it's so windy anyway that's it I'm off I'll go and collect my dog so I've got all my um, I've locked the chickens up so obviously we didn't do any of the stable today because Simon had bad feet and um, and I really didn't feel like coming out earlier so I didn't 
So I came out late today, but I've still done a lot of work. Probably more than if I'd come out earlier and then got tired. So it was much better to just rest first, then come out. Because uh, it's a nice evening. Anyway, I need to get my dog, untie him and go and uh, lock up. Anyway, so I've been really, really busy in the garden. I know my hair looks a complete mess. It's at that stage now where it's actually getting them really on my nerves because it's sort of growing. My fringe is growing, but I need to, I might have to cut it again. And at the moment, I can't be bothered. We've got loads of thistles here growing. Oh my God, they're gonna be beautiful when they come out. I don't really want to cut them down yet. I'm gonna try and leave some of this back stuff until we, um, we need it. Anyway, they've got a load more rubble here to use up. Not sure what they're doing with that. Anyway, stop saying anyway. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. Let me know how you do your gardening. Do you come out late in the evening and do a bit of pottering around? Because um, sometimes I feel like coming out in the evening and not during the day. So that's what I do. But obviously you get bitten a lot more. There's a lot more bugs around in the evening. But apart from that, it's really nice to come out in the evening. As long as I keep away from all the thick trees and keep over on these areas that are sort of more open. Um, but if I went into sort of the bushes and things, I'd get eaten alive. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. See you again soon in the next video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now. Bye. Sunflower. Yeah, look. I just spotted that. How absolutely beautiful is that? Oh.